and welcome to the final episode of 2020. We really hope that you've enjoyed our content this year. Please stick around to the end where we update you on our current lockdown situation, the difficulties we are now facing and discuss whether we can realistically keep pushing forwards with the channel. But before all that, we want to showcase our winter home of Leris Island and flash through what life is really like as a liveaboard homeschooling family during the winter here. Last episode, we landed in Leros Marina Evros to begin the winter. Soon after settling in, we took a cheeky little weekend sail to a nearby bay called Gorna. We discovered later that this anchorage wasn't the best on the island for either holding or protection from the westerly swells. So we made it work by chucking out a stern anchor. Having spent more time in Leros, it wasn't long before we discovered that Leros has many awesome anchorages our particular favourite anchorages are Zero Cambos. Now this bay has excellent shelter and the option of mooring boys. Romolithos and Pantelli. These anchorages both have great holding and stunning mountainous views of Kalimnos, Kos and Turkey. There is also a lovely quaint little harbour village set below famous windmills and the medieval castle of Leros. Blafuti. Known for its crystal clear waters, good holding in sandy areas and great shelter from out of season southerlies. There is also a lovely tavern on the beach and safe quiet areas for kids to play. And finally, we absolutely love Archangelos, a tiny island with no roads and positioned only a stone's throw from Blafuti. If you really want to get away from it all, Archangelos is the place to go and it's a great spot to hide from the northern Maltini winds. There is also a single traditional taverna near the shore. All in all, Leros is a bit of a hidden gem, and to top it off, Leros Marina turned out to be the ideal spot to keep Holly Blue out of season. So this is our new spot. Look who we've got here. We've got a new pet. Do you know what he's called? Sodoff. Sodoff, yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you gonna come and say hello to the boat? He's getting braver, aren't you, honey? Oh, this is amazing. And we've got a boat cat. Hello. Oh, yeah, he knows where the Mommy. fridge in the kitchen is. You little. He matches the boat. He's even got the same colours as the boat. Look. That's the toilet. They're going to poo in there. Yet. <laughs> have you two got a new pet now, have you? Yeah, we have. One of our pets have died a long, long time ago. When me and Josh were actually babies. Oh, but really? His name was Bumblebee. But now we've got another one. Oh, it was Honeybee, actually. Oh, Honeybee. Yeah. Yeah. Bumblebee is in Transformers. Yeah. Hello. 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 Sort of. We've got a poorly one. Where is he? Where's the dinosaur? Poorly Noah. I feel I'm really sorry for Noah and I thought I'd come in and give him a cuddle to make him feel better. Pudding. Sometimes you need to get poorly because it builds your immunities up. It means the next time you get it, you'll be able to fight it. Still able to eat pancakes, Noah? Yeah. Yeah, you're not that bad then. <laughs> This one's poorly, apparently. I'm not poorly anymore, okay? Yeah, funny that. Noah is getting very good. That dry dinosaur. They've discovered this new thing on YouTube where it's how to draw and like it's a step by step instruction. Noah's drawing the most epic pictures, aren't you, babe? They look like he's got lizard skin.
doing maths homeschooling today? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to see it as well. Sleigh bells ringing. Right, we're back. And I've got Branch. Okay. Got Branch. Branch is watching. Josh, can you get back? Can you get back to your test, please? Okay. Branch. Noah, sit down. Remember, this is all about maths, okay? So Noah is writing down the fractions that we're finding out. Poppy finds maths a bit boring, so Poppy is doing some dancing, isn't she? We've got this piece of paper. We've divided it into how many, Noah? Four. Oh. No. Oh. What's that? And then that is one eighth, yeah? So right now, we're doing eighths, aren't we? Poppy's going to do a dance off. How many apes does she dance off? How many? Right, can you write it down? What's this folded into? Prancer and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the bee, bring the cheese, bring the cheese, put the lights up. Tis the season. Me no Grinch tops, no Ebenezer. Don't believe it. Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Sleigh bells ringing. In that bag, yeah. I got her racks, racks in my sack, her in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got her racks, racks in my sack, her in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got her racks, racks in my sack, her in my back, yeah. They said, Say, Nick, what you got up in that bag. I got her racks, racks in my sack, her in my back. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hi guys, so it's Friday night. We're actually going out. It's not out, out really, because we're going next door. We're going to our friends, Haley and Dave's next door. They're the daily adventure. If you haven't seen them before on YouTube, pop over to their channel. We'll link them in the description box below anyway. But they're really lovely friends that we've made over here in Leros. They're only here for a couple of weeks because Hayley is nearing the end of her pregnancy and she's going back to the UK with Dave. I'm not sure if Dave's sticking around or not, he may have some work on, but they have got their little boy due really soon. So uh, we're just popping over for a nice civilised, don't know what, 
cards i do believe so um yeah we're looking forward to it i've actually got makeup proper makeup on for a change and actual like semi dressed up clothes which is really weird because i haven't done that for so long now um and ross is just i don't know what he's doing he's faffing so i guess we may or may not see you there might just go and have a lovely time with them and not take the camera with us don't know but oh by the way they live literally next door in a beautiful amazing 45 foot catamaran so there is literally no chance of us not actually making it out which most people who know us will know that we are really good at cancelling last minute and bailing on most plans for one reason or another we're dreadful for that but we literally can't because they're right next door and we wouldn't anyway because they're lovely not that no one else we've ever bailed on is not lovely we're just really crap at going out okay we're going all right that's it I've got my pikey rations of gin, lemonade and soda water. This is actually from when me and Ross got married in Cyprus. I had this on my garter filled with Jack Daniels for our wedding day. And it was warm Jack Daniels that we were drinking in 36 degree heat in Cyprus. It was an amazing day. And I take it everywhere with me. Just crept out the hatch. Here we go. Here comes Ross with his beers. These are our friends both. Hayley and Dave, the daily adventure. I'm really excited though, the boat's absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. Put the light on, Laura. Yeah, I need to get the light on. Hayley's gonna get the light for me. So, oh, <laughs> this is Hayley. <laughs> Hayley, and obviously Dave. All right. <laughs> um, I'll have to put the lights on for me. And this is their amazing boat. So I'm a bit jealous at the moment, gotta be honest. Really want one now. So now the pressure's on for Ross to, uh, to acquire a catamaran since this is the first time I've ever stepped on a catamaran and it's probably the most beautiful one I could have stepped on, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'll take you in and show you, and show you Hayley and Dave. So this is their living room. We're going to be playing cars tonight. Say hi guys! Hello! Hello, this is Hayley and this is Dave. Hi, card night. Friends! Yay! Both friends. Both friends! Morning guys, so it is two days to the UK and I'm just defrosting the fridge, fridge number one. Got hardly anything left in fridge number two. Had a bit of a clean, starting to pack stuff here. Noah's in here. He's just having a little play around. I'm using up some carrots. I'm gonna make some lovely carrot soup for lunch. You can get some um, carrot soup for the reindeer, right? Yeah, well, we're making carrot soup and I'm pretty sure the reindeers can drink, so yeah, we can save them some. And through here, as you can see, it's a glorious day. Another 19 degrees, can't believe we're gonna be leaving. Daddy and Ross, Daddy and Captain, are cleaning the bottom of Alley. They're washing the boat, aren't you, Josh? Out. First mate that job. First mate. Yeah. He's got a toothbrush. You are not using my toothbrush. I need the new one to get in here. Right, in there. Are you kidding me? Nope. I use your toothbrush, brush, all right? <laughs> okay, then you can buy me a new one. Why don't oysters 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 I don't know. Because they're shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Love it. He's got a joke, really. He has. You're a joke book, aren't you? You're a walking, talking joke book, Josh. You're a joker. All right. You guys can tell we're going to Nanny and Granada for trans. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Everybody sit down. Nella, sit down. <laughs> what? It does not need salt and pepper, but I will get you some, but try it first, yeah? Just try it. I want an out of ten. What? Oh, okay. It's hot. I get that. That's very cool. Doesn't need salt. What out of ten? You can never have enough pepper. Um, give it a firm eight. Really? Cool. Josh, what do you reckon? Ten. Ten? You say that about everything. You love everything. <laughs> Noah, what do you think? It's really thinking about that. One thousand out of ten. Oh, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Hi guys, true to form, it's blowing an absolute hoolie outside. Look at you two. Is it raining? It's raining. Just a bit. That's a good way of doing it. <laughs> that reminds me of when he was a baby. Are you two? <laughs> We're just doing some Christmas boxes. So what we've done this year is we've just got a secret Santa going on where we're allowed to spend five euros each on each other and they've got to fit in this, what will be, a Christmas box. So we're making those today. Um, yeah, so we're just doing a bit of Christmassy stuff. As you can see, we've got the lights on. It's super cozy and it's really lovely in here. And I think I might try and play my guitar a little bit as well. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you are in the world. It may or may not be Christmas when this vlog comes out, but it sure is here now. I wanted to tell you that I've got the boys a little surprise for Christmas because they're obviously we haven't got any Christmas presents on the boat for them and we can't take very much because we're only allowed to take hand luggage. So I just bought them a little something from the shop and I really want to show you what I got. How cute were these? They were four euros each and they've got inside of them little lollipops and chocolate and a happy Santa surprise toy. Da -da -da -da. One for you and one for you. Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? And you can use the bags again, I thought, for to put your toys in, no way. When you're going back on the airport, you could put cinders in there. What's in there, then? Let's have a look. Oh, it's like a Kinder Egg. It's got toys inside of it. I got a massive, massive of chocolate coins. You got candy cane, like Josh. More Euros, and you got some of these. What are these? Thank you, Mama. What did you say, now? Okay guys, we've had enough of the getting ready <coughs> to leave Royal Blue. So you're going to have a shower. I'm taking the kids to the park. And then they've got a little Christmas flag going around this house, so we're gonna go and check it out. So we're at Eos Eos Food Line Eos. I've had a mulled wine and a very, very large Jack Daniels and coffee, so I can't even speak properly right now, but we're at the Christmas lights in Leros. So guys, that brings us to the end of season one. For those of you who are new here, or if you didn't already know, we are about one year now behind on our vlogs, which is actually quite a good thing, because from where we just have left off in this episode, we shortly after that went into lockdown, and I think everybody knows the story of 2020. But um, for us, we actually had quite a good summer, and we have got a good six months worth of content still yet to be released. We've got a lot more of the Greek islands to show you, we've been to new places, the boys have managed to get on the ropes a bit more, Laura's got a lot more confident this year and uh, I think maybe I've become a little bit more experienced and got more comfortable as well so that's all good. 
So I know this video has already gone on for quite a long time, so I'll keep it short from here on, but I wanted to just say a couple more things. Firstly, uh, thank you everyone who's supported us with comments, likes, uh, people who have, are now supporting us on Patreon or have become members of our new membership area of our website. All of that really, really helps us out. So thank you so much, guys. If you're new here, please subscribe and like this video. We have got so many good videos coming up. Like we have literally just scratched the surface with what we've done. We learned a lot on our first season. We made many mistakes, probably like every new YouTube channel does. Uh, but we have learned a lot since then. And I'd like to think the quality is gonna get that much better. Regarding lockdown here, I don't really want to talk about it too much because I feel that everyone is in a similar boat. Well, some people have got it worse, some people have got it better, but I think the general feeling is everyone's probably sick of hearing about it. And if you're watching this, you're probably not really watching it to hear about that. So I think we're going to leave it there. I did just want to say thank you so much, Laris Marina, for being such a support through these times. and you guys have been absolutely awesome it has been such a good marina to have a family and uh, i just wanted to say thank you to Norris marina we want to wish everyone a really happy new year for 2021 we hope you get to do what you want to do this year and finally and most importantly you know who you are thank you everyone who's bought me a beer this year we'll see you on the next one it's been a while now since i saw you but it feels like yesterday somehow